Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Java 101. In this episode, we are going to learn the basics of Boolean logic. Uh, Boolean logic is just simply checking if something is true or false. As I mentioned in the first video, a Boolean is a primitive data type which can either be true or false, and it is used a lot in uh, logic-related statements. So we're going to actually code in a simple menu that will ask the user what they want to do, uh, and then it will res respond based on what they enter. So um, we're going to take this existing code that we have right now, and it says... Welcome to Adventure. So now we're going to actually give them the menu. So we're going to say system.out.println1 uh, is going to be uh, go to the store. Um, 2 is going to be go into the forest. And 3 is going to be uh, talk to townspeople. Now this is just a very basic menu and ignore that. This is just a basic menu that uh, you know eventually we're going to actually adapt this further but this is um, you know a good example. So if you go to the store it's going to deduct uh, some of your money but it will uh, increase your health. Maybe you buy a health potion. If you go into the forest, it will decrease your health but increase your money. Maybe you find treasure. And if you talk to the townspeople, then they will just talk to you. And eventually, when we do this, we'll add more options and we'll have uh, random. So, like, uh, you know, going into the store, you can actually choose what you want to buy. Uh, going into the forest, um, will actually, you know, give you a random amount of money and generate a random amount of health, or maybe a completely random event would happen. But we're just going to do this very, very basically. And so f the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check, first we need to get their input. So we're going to say int input equals s dot next int. So I'm going to enter one, two, or three. Then we're going to say if input equals equals one this is your this is an if statement and this is the basics this is like the crux of boolean logic so you use double equals when you want to test for uh, equality single equals is assigning so we're assigning this input integer to the whatever they enter but here we're saying if the input is equal to one then it's go to the store, so we can say go to the store. This, by the way, is a comment. It's ignored by Java, so you can, you know, write comments to yourself in there. We're going to say system dot out dot print ln. You went to you. Uh, let's just say you bought a health potion and restored some health. And then we're going to say money minus equals one. So we're going to take away one dollar from them. And we're going to say health plus equals one. So we're going to add one. Now, with when we're doing this, we need to be careful uh, because the money could be negative and the health could be um, greater than 10 or maximum. Now what you would do here is you would want a nested if statement and if we have time at the end we'll take care of that. Next uh, we want to see what if they choose to go into the forest and what we're going to do is we're going to use an else if statement. So else if input is equal equal to 2. Uh, so if this if statement doesn't work then it will go to this else if and else if input is equal to 2 then they go into the forest, and again, you can just say, um, you discovered treasure in the forest after a long day of hiking. So we're going to add 
1 to the money and subtract 1 from the health. And again, the uh, money, well, in this case, the money, the money is actually fine, but the health could be negative because there is a minimum and maximum bounds for health, but for money, there's only a minimum bound. Finally, we're just going to say else if input is equal to 3, then this is uh, talk to the town's people, and we're going to say system.out.println uh, the town's people say hi. Eventually, we'll make it, um, we'll probably, once we get into uh, randomness, we can actually, you know, have it say a random message out of a list, but for now, that's all we really need to do. The last thing we need to do is, what if they don't enter 1, 2, 3, or 4? What if 1, 2, or 3? What if they enter 4, or 68, or 200? We need to make sure that their input is correct. So, we can say else... And if all of these fail, it will go down to else. And we're going to say system.out.println invalid item. So it just won't work. So let's go ahead and run this. And you'll see it'll say, what is your name, like we did before. So I'm going to say Pogo. It says, welcome to Adventure Pogo. So I can go to the store, go into the forest, talk to the townspeople. So let's say I want to go into the store. And it'll say, you bought a health potion and restored some health. You'll notice that it does terminate because this only w runs through one time. Eventually, when we get into loops, we will have it run, um, in we will have it run basically until you tell it to stop. Like if you enter zero and it quits. But uh, for now, it's just going to run through one time. But as you can see, I entered one. So it says, you bought a health potion and restored some health. Let's do it again. And if I enter... Pogo. If I enter 2, it will say you discovered treasure in the forest after a long day of hiking. So I entered 2, and it did that. Finally, if I enter 3, the townspeople say hi. And if I enter 4 or something invalid, it says invalid item. So that's just the basics of Boolean logic, you know, writing if statements, else if statements, and else statements to uh, check for equality. Um, as far as nested loops, or sorry, nested if statements, we're actually going to say we can, it's very easy to do. So we want to make sure that the money isn't negative. So we'll say if money minus one is less than zero. So we're saying if this money variable minus one, so we're taking one away from it, and we're saying that if that's less than zero, as in if it's negative, then we're going to say, You don't have enough money. And then what we're going to do right here is we're going to say return. Basically, um, for the time being, all you have to know is that that will stop the code where it is. So if you don't have enough money, it'll just stop. It won't go on and, and you know, give you the health because you don't have enough money. Uh, eventually when we get into methods and stuff, that, that definition will change, but for now it just stops the code. Uh, likewise, we're going to say if health plus 1 is greater than 10, so if we add 1 to health and it's going to be greater than 10, then uh, we're going to print out uh, you, have mil you have max health. And we should probably do that. All right. And then finally, it will say you bought a health potion and restored some health. So this is a nested if statement. If it's one, then it will run through that. If it's good, it'll continue, and then it'll run through that. And then if they both check out, then it'll run this. Notice that I didn't use an else if because these two checks are separate. We don't want to say if the money is less than zero otherwise but we want to we want to make sure that both of these are independent and that both of them have to be okay before we continue we're using else if outside of it because uh, we we're just checking for one variable and we just you know we're just keep, we're going through all the different possibilities it could be uh, finally as far as checking if it's negative 
we can simply copy this right here, and we're going to say if health minus 1 is less than 0, they can have 0 health, but um, uh, they can't have less than that. We're going to say you don't have enough health. And then we're going to return. And otherwise, everything else should be fine. There's nothing to worry about for talking to the townspeople, and there's nothing to worry about as far as uh, invalid item. So that's all for this video. This was, um, you know, an introduction and a lot of Boolean logic, if, else, if, and else statements uh, with nested statements. Again, with nested, if this checks out, it will run through the nested if statements and see. You could nest them so that there are 20 if statements inside of each other. That would be extremely messy, but it would work. And it would just keep going down a level and down a level. And it would just, and if it kept checking out, it would just kept working. It would just keep on going until it got to the very bottom. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment if you want to learn. If you liked this video, click the like button. If you have any questions or uh, if you feel like I'm not doing a great job of explaining this, please let me know so that I can improve the videos. And I will see you guys soon with the next episode. Bye.